Hi everyone, I've been doing videos recently after the Assange visual on Sunday to just try and explain to people just how the media are, are controlling the narrative and how they're propagandizing people and what to look out for. And also a little trick on how to find them doing it. Really easy. Um, I'll show you quickly how to do it actually, straight off the bat. Because if you go to Google, just in a normal browser, I don't usually do this, but most people do. So just to for the benefits of just showing you what most people would uh, most people would do this is how to do it you just put in a search term and you put site bbc.co.uk with a colon you can put washingtonpost.com or newyorktimes.com there and then put your search term and it brings up all of the results from that site alone for that search term so you can see here i can do a cursory reading of you know what they've written on venezuela on the bbc so let's look at how the BBC are actually skewing this narrative and, and controlling the conversation with Venezuela because you can see here they are talking incessantly about Venezuela aid. You can see how many articles. That's one page. There's another page. There's another page. You know, then you can see this is all February, February, and this is just the website. So, and it is all one way. Apart from, from what I can see, two reports. And even then, it's the bare minimum of what really is going on. Because what is actually going on in here is obviously America are trying to ship weapons into Venezuela to overthrow Maduro in a coup. And they're trying the same sort of game plan they had in Libya. That's pretty much, you know, that's the plan. Libya. This is the Libya model. Libya, which at the time of doing that coup was the richest nation in Africa and right now is a failed state with open slave trade markets, open slave trade in the markets. So this is what they did. This is how they did it with <laughs> um, with Libya. This is what they're intending to do with Venezuela. Venezuela know this. Venezuela know America has been trying to overthrow them for decades, going back even before the Bolivar Revolution, but certainly since 1999. I mean, they even had Maduro, uh, Chavez at gunpoint in 2002. I'll show you a little piece of propaganda on that with, with the BBC in a minute, but every article apart from two I've found, pages after pages after pages, um, are all, they're not letting in the humanitarian aid. They are just not from the country overthrowing them. But this is not something that anywhere you will find in these articles, apart from, they mention it here in this video. This is a short written interview with, um, with Maduro As that they put on the website where he's talking about it. Short video, that's it. Most people would skew over that, to be honest. Genuine help or Trojan horse, they've written here. They've written a whole article here on Actually, they mention Russians have sent aid in. I mean, but even look, look at where they start the story. They start the story after the US has tried, I think, at least one coup, probably two on Chavez, after they would got Saudi Arabia to overproduce oil, to drive the price of oil down to the floor to make Venezuela's oil uncompetitive and leave them in this in mess in the first place. It's a manufactured crisis. And they miss out all the stuff that would, prove, that would show it's manufactured. You see, this is how they propagandize people. Nowhere in this article does it mention Elliot Abrams. Nowhere in this article does it mention Libya. Nowhere in this article does it mention how many countries America are trying to overthrow in South America right now. It doesn't mention any of that. It's all, oh, they're letting a bit of aid in, but you know, this is, they're trying their best not to tell you what is really going on here. And they do it every single time. Remember, these are just two articles I found that actually come close to telling the truth. How much aid is getting in? Again, they mention here some aid coming in from Russia. But the rest of the article, again, is just all one way. They give us as little as they possible about the real story, and then all the stuff on the other side, they pile it on. And look how many articles they've written on it. 
just this story in the last few months now this is just their website how many news reports how many people have watched the bbc at six o'clock and they've reported something similar along these lines how many people have turned into Newsnight and panorama how many people have seen the 10 o'clock news the 12 o'clock news how many people have the bbc has seen the bbc world service reports on these around the world how many people in bbc russia in bbc it just goes like this is a massive global it's huge this sort of message will have reached i am certain at least hundreds of millions of people around the world probably over a billion it's massive and it's all one way and you know what the bastards are stealing 150 pounds 50 every single year from every single household in this country for the luxury of being lied and propagandized to this is what the bbc too just look at all this it's constant with just one or two articles that actually come close to the truth if they were telling the truth here's what they would be telling here's what they would be telling sorry they are crippling this country with sanctions absolutely crippling it there are people starving in venezuela right now because america have got sanctions on them because the imf won't allow them to get loans because they are literally it's siege war warfare which is a fucking war crime and they're not talking about it and now bolton wants to put more sanctions on it if you want to help venezuela and you want to really help the people of venezuela drop the fucking sanctions you assholes you're killing them and then you're blaming them for what you're fucking doing and then the bbc are repeating it this is what a real reporter a real journalist tells people about the situation in venezuela this is obviously max blumenthal and gray zone look the u.s humanitarian aid uh, aid ploy to venezuela explained and he goes on to explain how elliot abrahams has done this already in south america in many countries lied about it was found guilty of lying and then had to be pardoned for it by george bush they don't mention it anywhere in those articles they don't even mention elliot abram's name they don't mention the history they don't mention they don't mention any of it all of that is needed to actually give people the truth to actually give people the full context as to what is going on in that country and the bbc aren't doing it they are lying to you and propagandizing you and stealing 150 pounds 50 of you every year for the privilege they're fucking derelict in their duties now i like the bbc stuff with regards to their educational programs and with regards to their entertainment their sports stuff is brilliant i've said this in the past okay if you're going to have that fine all right but you one of you also one of your remits at the bbc one of their remits is also to inform how is this informing people this isn't informing people this is total bullshit propaganda is what it is this is pr for your bosses your bosses are meant to be the people of this fucking country bbc they are the people you're meant to be beholden to that's why you steal the money from them it's meant to be separate from the government so it can hold it accountable i don't want to fix the bbc news i think it's unfixable honestly i think it is and this short video honestly this short video has shown the bbc to be what it fucking is a total propaganda construct that is stealing money from people for the privilege of doing it you know what bbc news needs to be smashed into a million fucking pieces and every single mainstream media journalistic outlet out there like the guardian which is gchq's mouthpiece and a lot of them the lot of them need to go it's time for a new fucking media because if if i a twice failed businessman a middle-aged misgruntled man with a microphone and a fucking youtube channel can do a better job of reporting on a country three quarters of the way around the fucking world than an entire bbc then it's derelict in its fucking duties and it needs to be disbanded it's got to go as soon as fucking possible because if it doesn't 
they are going to propagandize and they are going to lie us into a global war again for more truly honest independent media like the video you just saw please subscribe and click the bell below as well so you get a notification of when i drop further videos if you also like and share and comment on the video as well that really helps with the algorithm and boosts exposure and if you can support me please do so you can do with any of the other videos on the screen at the moment and below this video you can support me for as little as a dollar a month on patreon and every dollar helps we need your support at the moment we do not have an operating fourth estate and i'm sure you're aware uh, a functioning media holding power accountable is vital for democracy at the moment we haven't got it so people like me are having to fill their shoes and do the job for them with your support thanks very much for your support till next time peace and take care